Hi. Uh, in this lecture, we will take some example of uh, ZBus building algorithm. So in the last two lectures, I had told you how to add a branch and how to add a link. So now let's take a practical um, example. So we will form the ZBus of our system uh, using the algorithm which we developed. So let us consider this system. It's a simple four bus uh, system. Uh, one of the buses is the reference. So now let me again reiterate that in the practical system, the reference bus is the ground. So your entire bus impedance matrix or the bus admittance matrix is built with ground as reference. Now, when you are given a network, how do you start building the Z bus? So obviously, initially you have a null matrix. There are no elements. Or if you want, you can put a zero there corresponding to the reference bus. Now you start the building algorithm. First, I have to add, add a node, isn't it? I only have a reference node. So I must add another node which has a line connected to the reference. So your ZBus building algorithm starts with addition of a branch between the reference node and a, any other node. Clear? So that would be the first element you add when you start building the ZBus algorithm. So now let's do it here. So the first step. So let me add this branch that is between uh, one and two. One is the reference bus. So what kind of a element is it? It is, you can call it as type one with the nomenclature we used. So it is a branch between a reference bus and a new bus, right? So whenever you add a branch, remember, that the size of your Z bus will increase by an order of one. So P is equal to one, Q is equal to two. Uh, okay, so here the first row and first column corresponds to elements of the reference bus. Normally we will not show it, right? We will not show because they will all be zeros corresponding to the reference element, reference bus. But here I've just shown you to know how to build the algorithm. So you can as well start off with a null matrix. And the first branch you add, right? That would simply be the impedance of the branch you have added. In this case, it is J0.4. So these zeros are actually not necessary. I will remove it shortly. This is just to show you what it is. So this is bus one and bus two. Bus one is the reference bus. And uh, in a practical system, actually, since this is ground, the ground would be numbered zero and you start off with one, two, three, four. So I, I have told you in my previous lecture, when you talk of an N bus system, it does not include the ground. So it is actually N plus ground. But here, since we have numbered, let's keep it as such, right? So this is now my partial network Z bus. Next, I will add the next branch. So I have already added this. Now I'll add another node. So this is a branch between two and three. Two is already existing and it's not a reference bus. And three is the new node you're adding. And therefore, this is of type two. Type two is between an existing bus and a new bus, the addition of a branch. So these are your equations. ZQI is equal to ZPI and ZQQ is equal to ZPQPQ into Z plus ZPQ. So let me draw your attention here. We use uppercase letters. We use uppercase letters to indicate elements of the bus impedance matrix and a lowercase letter to indicate the line impedance, the impedance of the line. So in this case, P is two and Q is three. 
because you have added a branch between two and three. So what would be your uh, uh, equations? So Q is three, so ZQI is equal to ZPI. So ZQI, I will take on from one, two, three. So I is one, so Z31, and it's equal to Z13 because the bus impedance matrix is symmetric, is equal to Z21, P is two. So ZQI is equal to ZPI. So Z31 would be equal to Z21 and Z32 would be equal to Z22. And what about Z33? Z33 would be equal to Z2323. This is the impedance of the line you have added between nodes two and three. And Z23, this is the element corresponding to the bus impedance matrix okay so i have here so this was my partial network the two by two network you can as well, as well remove the zeros which i'll do in the next slide and these elements so z31 is here is equal to z21 z21 and z32 z32 is equal to z22 z22 is this this element j0.4 and Z33 is equal to Z2323, that is the impedance of the line you have added, which is 0 0.2 per unit, plus Z23. So this, if you look at the bus numbers here, this is corresponding to bus number one, two, and three. And this is one, two, and three. So the element Z23, this corresponds to two, and this corresponds to three is J0.4. So I have J0.4 plus J0.2 is equal to J0.6. So this is the bus admittance matrix after you have added this branch between two and three. Now let me add the third branch. I have already added two. Let me add the one between three and four. So now here, P is three, P is three, that is the existing uh, node, and Q is the new node, which is four. So these are my equations. Z41 is equal to Z31, Z42 is equal to Z32, and Z43 is equal to Z33. So here, if you just see, I have not added the zeros. So the first row corresponds to bus number two, three, and four, and here, similarly, column is two, three, and four. So this initial two by two matrix is my old matrix. And since I have added a branch, since I have added a branch, the size increases by one. And so the two by two matrix becomes a three by three matrix, okay? And this is Z41, Z41 is equal to Z31. This is Z31, Z31 is 0.4. So Z41 and Z14 both are 0.4. And Z42 is equal to Z32. So Z42, Z32 is this, is equal to J0.6. And the diagonal element is Z34, that is J0.6, plus the impedance of the added branch, which is J0.3 which is J0.9, clear? If you want, you can pad zeros here to include the reference bus, it's not necessary because you can't manipulate, you know, when, when all the elements of a row or a column are zero, then the matrix becomes indeterminate and you can't do any operations with it. So you don't have to show the reference bus, okay? Next, I have one more line left. So this is the element which was left over. So I have added between four and one. Okay, or one and four, either way, because both are already existing. You can call it as four and one or one and four. So this is of type three, because it's a link, it's a link between the reference and and an existing bus. Okay, so P is one and Q is four. Please see, though you can call this as a line between one and four or four and one, in the equations we derived, in the equations we derived for the addition of a link, P stands for the reference bus and Q stands for the added, the other existing bus, 
Okay. So P is 1 and Q is 4. So what are my equations? Z L I. So when I add a link, remember, I do it by introducing an additional row and column corresponding to a fictitious node L and then I eliminate it. So that was the way we had derived. So these are the equations. Actually ZLI is ZPI minus ZQI and if P is the reference node, it will simply be minus ZQI. Okay, so ZL2 is equal to minus Z42. So Z42 you can get from the partial network that is minus J0.4. And similarly, ZL3 is minus Z43, which is minus J0.6. And ZL4 is minus Z44, which is minus J0.9. So we have got the off-diagonal elements of the row and column corresponding to the node L. Then I have ZLL is minus ZQL plus ZPQBQ. Minus ZQL. And what is Q? Q is 4. So I have minus Z4L. Z4L is same as ZL4. So ZL4 is minus J0.9. Minus of that will become plus J0.9. Plus the impedance of the added line which is J0.25. So it is 0.9 plus 0.25, which is 1.15, J1.15 per unit. That would be Z44. Clear? So this is my uh, matrix, which I get. So this is the 3 by 3 matrix you had. Okay. And now I have added a row and a column corresponding to the fictitious node L. And this is ZLL. Right? The next step in the algorithm when you add a link is to eliminate this node. Eliminate the node. So let's see what happens. So what is the equation for that? Z bus modified is Z bus old minus ZIL ZLJ divided by ZLL. Right? You can do it element by element if you want. Z22 for example. I have to modify the, these elements of the old matrix. The old matrix means in this expanded matrix, the elements corresponding to the rest of the buses without the link. So that would be this three by three matrix here, right? So Z22, if you take, I'm just telling you how to apply the formula. Z22 would be, so this, is, this corresponds to two, 3, 4, and L. The last row and column is L. So Z22 is J0.4, okay, is Z bus old. So Z bus modified, the modified value is equal to Z bus old. Z bus old is J0.4 minus Z I L, okay. So here it is 2, 2. So I is also 2 and J is also 2. So Z I L is Z. 2L star ZLJ that is ZL2 my divided by ZL2 divided by ZLL ZL. So this is Z22 J0.4 old old one minus Z2L Z2L is minus J0.4. Please don't forget the negative signs. It will give you wrong answers if you do it. And neither should you uh, discard J. If you discard J also, you will get a wrong answer because J squared is minus 1. So please be very careful. You have to take the J and you also have to take the negative signs. Otherwise, you might end up with wrong answers. So ZIL is uh, Z2L is minus J0.4 star ZL2 is minus J0.4 divided by JLL. ZLL is J1.15. So that gives me J0.26. Clear? I've just shown you some sample calculations for you to know how it is done. Similarly, Z23 modified would be Z23 old. Z23 old is again J0.4 minus 
Z I L that is Z two L star Z L three Z L J. So here I is two and J is three. So Z two L star Z L three divided by Z L L, which gives me J zero point one nine one. Okay, so like this, you you have to modify all these nine elements, all these nine elements. Okay, so you would get this matrix. So this is the final bus impedance matrix after adding all the four lines as shown. Okay, now this computation which you did previously. This is my Z bus, old Z bus. I'm just showing you the previous computation how you can do. Do it. So this is the expression for the modified Z bus. So I have Z bus old. So Z bus old, you see, is this three by three matrix without the row and column corresponding to the link node L. Uh, that is Z bus old minus. And what is Z I L? This the column matrix. Corresponding to column L, so that would be these point four minus J point four point six point nine Z I L Z L J corresponding to the row L that is these elements into this into this, okay, divided by Z L L minus. Right. So instead of doing element by element, you can do this matrix computation. So this is a Three by one matrix, and this is a one by three matrix. So the product will give you a three by three matrix, and you can subtract the two. This is exactly the same as what I did previously. You can do it element by element, or you can even do it as a matrix as a whole. Right. So when you write a program, when you write a program, it is easier to do it as a matrix. It is easier to do it as a matrix. Because you can easily eliminate this, okay? You can get a reduced matrix from here, and you can do this multiplication everything in one line if you are going to use MATLAB or Skylab for the computation. Clear? So I hope it's clear now how to build the Z bus. I will illustrate with one more example. Now let's build the Z bus for this. So here, if you see, my external nodes are one, two, three, and I have not shown anything for the ground. So the ground is zero. The ground is the reference. So I have here two elements between the ground and the bus. Bus one and bus two. These are how you, you. This is how you start building in a practical case. You have to take an element between the ground and any bus, and then start off building the Z bus algorithm. Right. So here it is different from the previous case because here the ground bus is not numbered. You can easily follow it. So what do I do? I have everywhere. I have put the network again for your convenience. I start off by adding branch one between node one and the reference node. That is this branch. Okay. So the impedance is J zero point one. So Q is one, P is zero. So you see, when I build, I just when you add the first branch, you just have J zero point one, which is the impedance. You don't have to mark the zero zeros corresponding to the reference node. Clear? Very simple. Now I will add the second branch. This is between node two and reference node. So Q is equal to two and P is equal to zero. So Z two one, Z one two, both will be zero because it's the reference node. And I will only have Z two two, which is equal to Z two zero two zero. That is the impedance of the element you have added, which is J zero point five. Okay. And now, since you have added a branch, the size of the Z bus increases by an order of one. So I get this. And why are these two zeros? Because it is between the reference bus and a new node. Okay. So I have already added two branches. Both these branches are of type one. That is, they are a branch between the reference and a new node. Now let me add the third element, which is uh, between node one and three. That is this line. I add this line with an impedance of J zero point four, right? So what is J three one? J three one is equal to J one one. 
that's equal to j0.1. P is equal to 1, Q is equal to 3. So ZQI is equal to ZPI. Clear? Next, Z32, Q is 3, I is 2, is equal to ZPI. P is 1. So Z32 is equal to Z12. If you see here, Z12 is 0. Now you see here, I have marked all the rows and columns corresponding to the nodes. 1, 2, 3, this is node 1, node 2, node 3, node 1, node 2, node 3. It's easy for you to understand what we are doing. So Z32 is equal to 0 and Z13 is equal to Z31 and Z23 is equal to, I told you it is symmetric. And uh, Z33 is equal to Z13, that is PQ, ZPQ plus Z1313, the, L, the impedance you have added. So that is 0.1 plus impedance of the line you have added is 0.4. This is J0.5. Okay. So now you see again, because you have added a branch, the size has increased by 1. Now I have added actually all the nodes. I have three nodes. I have added three nodes. So the rest are links. So now I'll add element 4 which is a link between one and two. That is this, this line, this line between one and two. So P is equal to one and Q is equal to two, this line, okay, fine. So now when I add a link, first what do you do? You introduce a row and a column corresponding to the link node L, right? So this is my old Z bus. So what is it? Z L I Z L I is equal to Z P I minus Z Q I. So Z L one is equal to what is P P is equal to one Z one one minus Z two one. What is Z one one? It is this J zero point one. What is Z two one is zero. So I get J zero point one. Okay. Z L two Z L I is equal to Z P I, P is one. So Z one two minus Z two two, that is minus J zero point one five. And you, this off diagonal elements, it's symmetrical. And similarly, I calculate Z L three, Z one three minus Z two three, I get J zero point one. And what is Z L L? Z L L is Z I L minus Z Q L plus Z whatever element you have added, PQ, PQ. So Z1L, PL, Z1L is J0.1 minus Z2L, that is ZQL, QL, QL is minus J0.15, so minus J0.15 plus the impedance of the line you have added, which is J0.6, I get J0.85. Okay, so this is my uh, matrix and now I have to modify it. I have to modify it to eliminate the node L. So the row and column corresponding to L. I have the formula. So this is Z old. Z old you just see here, you only have to take corresponding to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Only this part of the matrix. That is the meaning of Z old. So don't consider the link elements. So Z old minus ZLI into ZLJ. So this is column corresponding to node L. This is the row corresponding to node L divided by ZLL is J0.85. I get the modified bus admittance matrix. Am I done? No. I have to add one more element between bus three and two. So I add the link between node 2 and node 3. So here P is equal to 2 and Q is equal to 3. So ZLI is equal to ZPI. P is 2, 1, PI minus QI. Q is 3, Z31 three, is equal to this. So I calculate as same way. And I have ZLL is Z2L, ZPL minus ZQL. So you have already computed this. So Z2 
2L minus Z3L, okay, plus Z2323, that is the impedance of the added link J0.4. I get this. So this is the old, this is the complete matrix. And to get the old matrix, I take what is corresponding to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then I eliminate. Okay. And I get the complete Z bus of the entire system. Right. So uh, I hope uh, with these two examples, now you have uh, understood how to build the Z bus algorithm. Right. So you start off with adding, uh, having a null matrix and add the first branch between the reference and any, and any other branch, any other, uh, any other node, sorry, reference node and any other node that will be the first branch you had. So the, you start building the Z bus by having the type one branch added. Okay. And then slowly you go on building it. And uh, we have the formula for all of them. And uh, when you come to uh, your modification in case of addition of a link, you can do it directly using matrix multiplication. Okay, so I think this, these two examples have uh, clearly illustrated uh, what uh, is meant by building the Z bus algorithm. As I told you, uh, this algorithm was in fact very popular when uh, you know computations were limited and it was difficult to compute the inverse of large matrices. And uh, yes, it is useful in Ill, what we call as ill-conditioned systems where uh, you know it is possible that one of the diagonal elements of the uh, bus admittance matrix is close to zero and you may not be able to get uh, the inverse uh, convergence of the inverse when you use a numerical method. So in such cases, you can use the Z bus building algorithm. And uh, I will also share uh, some uh, tips on how to write the program for Y bus and uh, Z bus. Okay, thank you.